guys, so today I have an empties video for you all. I have this whole bag, Mac bag, this bag right here full of empty products, whether it's hair stuff, makeup, and just like anything that's empty that I use. And sometimes I forget to throw things away, so, or to throw things, to put things in these, these, this. Sometimes I forget to put all of my finished products in this bag, so I have thrown things away. But everything that I remember to keep, I put in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, first, I have the Moroccan Oil Finish, the Luminous Hairspray Finish in Medium. And this stuff is amazing. It smells so good. I think it's my favorite smelling hairspray. It doesn't make your hair hard, and I will be repurching, repurching repurchasing this hairspray. I just have another um, Bumble and Bumble hairspray that I'm using. The next one is another hairspray and it is the Bumble and Bumble Classic Hairspray Lac. Lac? And I really like this one. I don't like how it smells and it's just an alright hairspray. I'll probably use it again if I had it but it's alright. I just don't like the smell of it so. The next product is the Cebu Dry Kwando. They don't make this anymore, but this dry shampoo was really good. The only thing that sucked was that um, I would only use it like twice and it was gone. Like I don't know if it evaporated or something or there was like a leak, but I really love this dry shampoo. The next product is a dry shampoo as well. I think if I had to pick between all of my favorite dry shampoos ever, it would have to be this one. I really love this one and I want to try the one for brunettes and the one that smells like wild cherry. My friend told me that the wild cherry or wild berry or something like that. It smells really good so I like the smell of this one. It doesn't really bother me but I can't wait to buy this again. I've been struggling without it. I've been using the Bumble and Bumble Prep Powder and it's alright but it's not as amazing as this stuff. Okay so I have one, two, three of these and I know I've gone through more but I just didn't want to keep putting these in here because Obviously, like, you get the point that I love these. And these are the um, Up and Up by Target brand, the Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And these are compared to, like, Pond's Clean Sweep um, Makeup Remover Wipes. And I like these because they do have regular makeup remover wipes. And then these are, like, cleansing towelettes. So for these, you don't have to wash your face after. And sometimes, I'm not going to lie, when I'm really lazy at night and I take off my makeup, the last thing I want to do at 3 in the morning is wash my face. So I've been using these and I've literally been using these for years. I use them, my mom uses them and these are like $3.64 and these are really good for traveling too So because it brings 10 and it's only a dollar. The next product is the Kerastase Elixir in um, cold, cold Time Oleo Complex and this is for all hair types. Kerastase is really expensive. So, um, I know this one's like $42, but the shampoo is really good. It hydrates, it gives you, sh it gives you, it gives you shine, and it smells, it smells really good. It leaves your hair smelling really good. So, I really like this shampoo while I had it. But now I'm using the Moroccan Oil uh, Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. But I like this one, and I would totally get it again. Get it again. Okay, the next product is, and I've already gone through one of these, but this one I just figured like I wasn't going to keep scraping it, so I bought a new one, and this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder in Silky Beige. I bought the translucent one, but I really like the Silky Beige one more. I feel like that one just leaves like a white cast sometimes. It's my all-time holy grail press powder, but I like the Silky Beige color more than the translucent one. So I did repurchase this. I purchased this like three or four times, so I love this pressed powder to set my foundation and like under eyes and stuff like that. And now I have the Nip and Fab Moisture Fix and oh my god my camera's gonna die. Okay well this is the Nip and Fab Moisture Fix and I really like this one. It smelled really bad and uh, now I'm using the uh, Ultra First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and I like that one better. Which leads me to my next product. I would not repurchase this though because it smells really weird and it it was more like a serum and I don't like serum I like more creams and now I have the first aid beauty ultra repair cream intense therapy skin protectant with fab antioxidant booster and I love this one so much I'm already on my second one and I just I especially especially 
Recently I got a sunburn and now that's why I'm all sun-kissed and stuff. But I got a sunburn and my skin was on fire. Like I'm telling you on fire. My skin peeled. I'm really d I'm done transforming into what I look like now because my skin was peeling and I looked like a crocodile, no lie. So um, this really helped me throughout that whole time. It really hydrated my skin. My skin was so thirsty and really this was the only product I used while I was sunburnt because it really made my skin feel a whole lot better. So I really like this and I repurchased it and I'll always repurchase it because I really like it. The next product I have, I actually have three concealers. I have two of my Holy Girl concealers and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and these are full coverage concealers. I absolutely love them. I've repurchased this concealer like five times, no lie. It, they do run out a little quick, so um, quicker than usual, but I don't mind because they're like five bucks, so there's no point that it should be a problem because you're not paying 20 bucks. It's five bucks. And I'm in the color Sand and I really, really love these uh, concealers so much. <sighs> that I actually bought a shade lighter because they did not have my shade at the drugstore when I had when I went and I ran out but um, now that one's too light because obviously I'm dark so now I'm using a Rimmel London one that I accidentally bought that was a shade too dark which works now because I'm tan so I'm definitely gonna have to go back and get my shade in this concealer the next concealer it's kinda like a concealer slash highlighter and it is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Touche Touche, I don't know. And I got the color Nude Chair. I absolutely loved this concealer. It really brightened my under eye area, especially on those days where I got like no amounts of sleep. This concealer is amazing to highlight, but the only downfall to this, I feel like this stuff runs out super quick. Like you spend most of the time twisting it up, and that's already like it'll go down up to here. So, but a little bit goes a long way, so I guess that's why they only put so little in it. And it's like $7, $7.44 at Target, I think. But I really love this, and I'm definitely going to repurchase this one. I have two mascaras in here. I have the La L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly Effect, and I really love this mascara. Absolutely love it. It is amazing. It really gives me length. More length than volume, but I don't mind because I just love it and it really spreads out my eyelashes and lengthens them, so I love this one. It doesn't clump and it makes my lashes look amazing. And then I have a deluxe size, uh, deluxe sample size of their Real Mascara. And I like this mascara. I used to really love this mascara and then I got the Rimmel... Um, Lash Out Effect Mascara, and I really honestly think this is a dupe for this. I'm not gonna lie. I got the same exact outcome. The Lash Out uh, Mascara is kind of like a dupe for their real. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong or if you feel the same way, but I really literally got the same like outcome when I used um, this one <laughs> and this one. I have... My handy dandy Anastasia Brow Wiz in Brunette. I love this stuff. I really feel like I used it all in two months. I feel like this stuff I used, like, I ran out so quick. But I, I still use the spoolie because I really love the way this, this is like a magical spoolie. And it blends out all the product that you put on your eyebrows amazingly. So I really love this spoolie and I'm going to keep using it. So, yeah, I'm going to, I had to repurchase this. I ran out a couple of weeks ago and I haven't had the time to go get some, but I've been using the, I've been using the MAC uh, eyeshadow in charcoal brown, which just works as well, so, but this is so much better. It cuts down my eyebrow filling in half, so I really, really, really need to repurchase this because I, I used to be so obsessed with this that I know I miss it and when I use it again, I'm going to be in love again, so I can't wait to get another one of these. I have two liquid liners and I have the Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Liner in dark brown and I love this for days where I don't want dramatic winged lines as dramatic black wing lines let me rephrase that because sometimes I feel like the black can be a little bit too dramatic for just an everyday liner so I really like the this the, the Wet n Wild liner in brown this one is amazing and it is a brush so for all of you that like like a thinner um, a thin uh, line. This stuff is good. There's still some left, but it it doesn't. I start doing my liner, and then I feel like it dries out. So I definitely had to get a new one of these, which I did. I have a new one, so I still use this. And then my holy grail black 
eyeliner pen and it is the Maybelline Master Precise by iStudio liquid liner. I love this. I repurchased it and I'm going to keep repurchasing it until I find something better which I doubt because this stuff oh, this stuff gives me a precise line. I can't I think there's a little bit left. Yeah, it's like running out, but it gives me a precise line. Every time I do my, my wing liner, it comes out amazing and I love it. All right, and my last product is the Benefit Speed Brow Quick Set Brow Gel. And um, I really like this. It's just your average brow gel. It has a little bit of a brown tint to it, and I really enjoyed it while I had it. Not much I can say. So those are all of my empty products that I have consumed. Consumed? I did not eat them. That I have used in the past couple of months. If you guys have any questions of any of the products I talked about, comment down below. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I always link down my Instagram and Twitter and my blog in the description box. So if you guys want to check those out, make sure to follow me. I always uh, post updates on my Twitter, whether it be my YouTube and stuff like that. And I post um, updates on my Instagram too. And if you guys want to see just my everyday posts, then make sure to follow me. Alright guys, bye!